course yung travel from Bahrain to Casablanca. currently na sa train station ako dito sa Casablanca Casa Voyager at pinagsasagaan ko itong napakatigas na sandwich <laughs> waiting for my train to Marrakesh na mag-tour sa akin dito within city lang si Mr. Rashid mga random-random nang nahanap lang ng mga sasakyan tapos dadalhin kong saan dito kasi mas sila yung nakakaalam sa mga lugar dito We're actually looking for Madam So we are looking for the restaurant na because I'm so hungry That's uh, the biggest mosque in Marrakesh. What's the name? Kuchubiya. Kuchubiya, Kuchubiya Mosque. Eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. You know the eucalyptus normally. When you drink it with hot tea, it's very good one for mm -hmm. sinuses, mm -hmm. and for migraine. Uh -huh. And with for if you have any problem for the blood meal, that what you mm. taste is something with hot tea mm -hmm. or hot water or hot milk. You mix it with any oil hot tea if you have for the back pain example. Uh, uh -huh. For me, I'm just interested in this meal. <laughs> so he sold me this. Yeah. Do you accept card, right? No problem. Okay. Malinis yung mga streets ng uh, Marrakesh, guys. Ganda. Ganda ng city nila. This is the main train station here in uh, Marrakesh. Ang ganda ganda ng masad guys. Good morning from Marrakesh in Morocco. My second day here in Marrakesh and I'm ready for the Atlas uh, Mountain uh, tour today that will start around uh, 8.30 in the, mo in the morning Oh! It's so cold! It's so cold! 
Ilan bang temp kayo? Nasa 6 siguro. Pero, hanap muna ako ng mawidrohan kasi wala akong cash. Pagkakailangan mamaya dun sa bundok. Walang tumatanggap na card. So, hanap muna ako na mawidrohan dito. Sana ba dito sa bundok? Naka-withdraw na ako ng pera. Balik na ako sa hotel kasi doon ako pipick up ng, ng tour. Naninigas yung mga kamay ko. Nasa 5 degrees pala ngayon. Medyo malamig siya. Hindi ko to in-expect ah. <laughs> Kulang yung outfit ko na panlamig. <laughs> Sana kakayanin ko mamaya doon sa bundok. Ito yung Marrakesh guys sa umaga. Ano na ngayon? Nasa 8.19, 8.30 yung sundo. 8 uh, na ng umaga, pero madilim pa din. <laughs> Wala pa rin araw. Kanina pag gising ko, oh my god, dilim-dilim pa. So, see you mamaya doon sa tour. I update ko kayo. day trip to the high atlas by the four valleys okay and also the camel ride this is our first stop today and we will be uh, visiting a market so so lang kami sa tour guide mabilis na tour lang to dito sa market kasi ngayon tuesday ito yung parang market day dito ng mga locals yeah. I joined a tour. kami sa parang meat area, meat section. Just follow me, contribute to the sun stability of a local community. Okay, uh, she will take your sister care of you here and uh, she will be your guide in the Roman cooperative, but not in the moment. In the moment it's with me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> As part of the tour package, we were served breakfast here at dito ko natikman yung napakasarap na tea. She said, 
our woman cooperative, the Berber way, okay? Traditional way. Okay, this is the agar fruit. It's like the dry fruit. And with this fruit, we make the oil. But first, we have to pass by many steps. The first one, we remove the shell to get nothing inside, like this. Okay? And second one, we broke the snap to get small almond or kernel inside. Cosmetic one and for cooking. For cosmetic, we crush the almond raw, natural like this in the traditional mill. And for cooking oil, we must roast them before. That's the difference between both, okay? <laughs> We have two kinds, arnica for back pain, knee pain, bruises, and you can use if you have cold. Currently in a small village here in Morocco called Imbila. So dito sa part na to, nakikita ko yung mga tubig kanina sa kanal na po froze na kasi sobrang lamig. Dito mag-start yung trekking namin papuntang waterfalls. Ito yung tinatawag na Imlil Village dito sa Morocco. Now we are in the high atlas where we have the highest peak in the north of Africa. We call it Tukal, Tukal Mountain. It's 4,167 meters above the sea, and this is why this region is very known because the people come from all over the world to do this challenge. And to do it, you need at least two days, not one hour and a half. Okay, <laughs> once you arrive here in this valley, you can start the hiking. After five hours of walking, you arrive to the refuge, you spend the night there, and you keep going next day to do the summit. Okay, and to come back, it's very easy. You can just roll down. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not true. Okay, uh, that's about the Atlas Mountain. About the village where we are right now, we call it Imli. Imli. And, and Imli in the Berber dialect is really the color white. Because every winter, we have snow here. It's supposed to have snow right now, but all of the trees will be maybe later. in the Atlas Mountain. Wow. <laughs> 
gonna chase some waterfalls. And here we are at the waterfalls. Okay, we are here in the High Atlas, the village called Imlil, and also about the waterfalls, we call it Imlil Waterfalls, because this water is coming from the Atlas Mountains, the melting snow. Bali. <laughs> Winter kasi ngayon, so walang mga hindi masyadong green and sabi nga ng guide namin kanina, supposedly snowing na ito ngayon, pero due to climate change, eh, hanggang ngayon wala pa rin snow, hindi pa rin puti yung pinila dito Pakaganda <laughs> Nagandahan ako nito, I don't know why Tapos sa nature kasi kahit naan ko There's a beach. Wow. <laughs> Ganda niya sa, sa camera. For all the valley, we have only one primary school. The kids here doesn't have the opportunity to go to school all the day because uh, they have to cheer the classrooms and when they finish the primary studies they must go to the high school and the high school exists at Asni Valley it's 17 kilometers from here for the boys they go every day in the morning they come back after the studies by the school buses or the public transport but for the ladies they stay all the week there in the antenna okay Itong lugar pala, kung maalala nyo, tatlong buwan yung nakaraan, it was uh, hit by devastating earthquake. Napakalakas na earthquake na ikanamatay na ang yubudibong mga, uh, mga residente dito. Actually, hindi ko to alam bago pumunta na isa to sa mga nabuko na lugar, itong lugar na nagkaroon ng earthquake. Somehow, natutulungan sila ng tourism na makarecover mula sa pangyayari na yun and uh, makikita mo na na yung bakas ng nangyaring earthquake na dito daan mga buildings na sira sira pero locals are trying to uh, build again kitsi gula umay na gula We are about to take our lunch here at the Berber village, right? Yeah, exactly. Imlil Valley. Yeah. And the village where we go called Aitsuka. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Marrakesh. So, this is my room 
for two days here in Marrakesh and now I'm leaving. I'm going back to Casablanca to explore more of the city. Guyot guyot na naman si Toto ka tarak tarak na. I'm going back to Casablanca now. Dito yung train station sa likod lang ng aking pinuro yung hotel. My God. It's cold here in Marrakesh. Siguro na sa 5 degrees ngayon or mas mababa pa. Kasi sobrang malig. <laughs> All right. This is the train going to Casablanca from Marrakesh. At ako ay magpapaalam na sa Marrakesh. Ano ba naman yan? Sobrang short lang talaga ng trip palagi. Pero napakaganda na experience. So yeah, yeah may lahat. And this is the train station here in Marrakesh. So I'll update you once I reach here. Kasabi ako. Hello train! Kararating ko lang dito sa Kasablanca. Naghihintay ako ngayon ng check-in kasi 3 o'clock pa yung check-in na aga kong dumating mula Marrakesh. Nasa 1 o'clock pa lang ngayon. So may 2 hours pa ako. Nag-iisip ko kung kakain na ba muna ako o kung yan. Or hintayin ko na mag-check-in. Kasi medyo busog pa naman ako. May kinain ako ngayon sa Kasablanca. Nasa Marrakesh na. Labas ako ng aking hotel. Ang tagal na. Ito yung Casablanca guys. Parang city center ito. Yan yung labas ng hotel. Tapos dyan lang yung train station. Malapit lang. So bukas na nakarin ko na lang. Hassan Mosque ito yung sikat na Hassan Mosque ito sa sa Casablanca finally napuntahan ko na din I still remember when I was in Libya na pinlano namin ng magkaibigan na puntahan itong Casablanca itong Morocco pero walang nangyari kasi ka nagkagyera sa Libya that was 2013 and uh, it uh, happened after 10 long years isang dekada ko hinintay bago mapuntahan yung Morocco kasarap sa feeling. <laughs> Ang ganda oh. Yan. Ito yung Hassan Mosque. Sa kabila niyan is uh, dagat na. Last day in Morocco. Bukas flight ko pabalik ng Kuwait. Nag-enjoy ako dito sa Morocco. Napakaganda. Dream come true. Itong pagbisita ko dito sa Pagkagandang lugar. Hihintay na yung taxi ko sa labas. <laughs> Sabi ko sa kanya, 5 minutes na ako mag-picture-picture. At hindi naman ako magtatagal kasi nga, yun lang naman yung talagang pupuntahan ko dito. Itong most.
dito na ulit sa train station dito sa Casa Voyager for airport Sa tatlong araw ko dito, ngayon lang ako nakamit ng kabayan. 